securitycameraking.com. In this video, I will show you how to enable your PTZ camera on the DVR using the DVR menu. First, you need to log in into the DVR by right click and choosing main menu and log in with uh, one of the users that the DVR has. We recommend to use the 6 eighths or the admin username. Here you can change to one, two, three for numeric. There are six eights for the password. Click OK. Then you need to go to settings and Pantel Zoom. Now before we do this, you have to make sure that the RS-485 cable connectors from the PDZ camera, whichever PDZ cameras you have, uh, they have to be plugged in on the back of a DVR on the ports A and B. It will be a green block on the back of a DVR and the those cables, the RJ45, they have to be connected to the ports A and B. A is positive and B is negative. Then when if you have multiple uh, PDZ cameras you must plug in those uh, cables, the RS485, you have to plug it in into the back of a DVR on the same ports A and B then uh, once you have everything plugged in you're gonna go to pan till zoom which you can find there under settings and pan till zoom then you will found, you will find this page and it will show you the amount of channels that your DVR has in this case is a four channel DVR then uh, you have to identify where the PDZ camera is plugged in so if you have three PDZ cameras you have to identify what camera or what channel that particular camera is plugged in. Let's say for example if the camera is plugged in the three cameras are plugged in on channel 1 and the other one in channel 2 and the other one in channel 3 uh, you have to identify them in here and also when you have three PTZs or more on one DVR you have to set up what is called an ID. You have to change the ID to something else. By default most of our cameras the PTZ cameras come with uh, ID number one, protocol, uh, Pelco D, and bout rate 2400. So if you have three cameras, you have to assign at least two of them different IDs or addresses. Once you have done that, you have to go to the DVR and assign those on each channel. So let's say PTZ number one has address number one. When you are on the pan tool zoom, you choose the channel one for where the PTZ camera is plugged in, the protocol, whichever is the protocol for that particular camera, as I said, normally is Pelco D. We choose Pelco D, address number one, bat rate 2400, and click save. If you have uh, an extra cameras, PTZ cameras, you have to go and configure those as well. And let's say, for example, the PTZ number two is plugged in on channel two. You change channel two, protocol, whichever the protocol is, Pelco D, address, whichever is the address that you assign. As I said, if you have more than one camera, you have to assign different addresses. So if I assign address number two to, um, uh, if I assign address uh, number two to a PD, to one of the PDZ cameras, I have to go here and change it. So I change to address number two, bat rate is the same, and click save and so on and so forth this is very important this field over here because if you have more than one PTZ and you try to control all of those PTZs without changing the address when you move one of the PTZs the other one will follow that camera so that's why you have to assign different addresses so you can um, move the camera individually okay I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing